and make great thumbnails that are gonna keep the viewers clicking on your videos. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mimisha and we are still on Mimi's pod. This video is going to be about editing your thumbnails using Cam. But before, of course, we go into the thumbnail editing, I want to let you know, guys, what, what's the importance of our thumbnails on our videos. Thumbnails have a great importance on the performance of our videos. Thumbnails is like something that, like the image the, the person sees first on your channel before they even get to know how your, your video looks like, how your content looks like. They first see your thumbnail. So you want to make sure that your thumbnail is as appealing appealing as possible it's a fire thumbnails it's an eye-catching thumbnail and that's what i'm gonna show you here today how to use some free editing app to make a fire thumbnail before i go into editing the thumbnail itself i want to tell you like three things you need to do before you start the editing process itself because editing a thumbnail does not start with sitting on a computer opening an app and starting whatever you're going to do there it starts with preparing yourself so if you know that you're gonna shoot a video, get yourself ready before the video, get your camera in front of you, take some few shots, like, you know, like, do some poses, make, like, do whatever you want to, as long as you know what, how you want your thumbnail to look like, just make some few poses and take some photos and, and keep them for the thumbnails later. If you're that kind of a person who doesn't take pre-thumbnail shoots, of course you can go ahead and just get us that, that clip from your thumbnail, sorry, from your video where you want to take screenshots and keep taking as many screenshots as possible so that you can have a variety of options to pick your thumbnails like your thumbnail photos are from you want to go and edit your pics before you start making your thumbnails so for editing of your pics there are so many editing apps you can download on your phone or whichever device you're using so you can edit your pics of course you can go on and download festune it's really a nice editing app you can download snapseed it's a nice editing app you can download lightroom actually right now i'm using lightroom and uh, festune most of the times so you can you can download pics, pics editor and you can also download as many photo editing apps as there are so many it's an uncountable list if you know that you need any icon any other thing you want to install like a logo uh, an icon or anything else you want to put in your thumbnail and you might not get the access to it during your thumbnail or your app so if you want to make your thumbnail quick and so fast download those icons download those logos and keep them in a folder so that when you start your thumbnail you have everything ready and it will be quick and it will be fast so right now let me just go on so to my computer and show you where the magic I'm gonna type in search bar the word canva it will open and we click on the word Canva and that will take us to Canva page, home, home page, sorry. And as you see there, there is that home page and on the side there, there is where it says all your designs and that's why you're going to find all your previous projects if you have any. But right now we're going to work with templates. Canva gives you a lot of already made templates that you can edit into your own design. So just like you can see there for different social media platforms, that means you're going to scroll down until you find YouTube thumbnails. So when you find YouTube thumbnails, go on the side there and click see all so the, all the, th the thumbnails can open. So right now we are on YouTube thumbnail templates and like you can see on the side you have a space where you can actually create a blank YouTube thumbnail and you create your own template or you can go ahead and use the already designed templates that Canva gives you as options below. So just scroll through and find something that really interests you or looks attractive to you or matching to your niche and you can edit that into your own design. But actually what I'm going to do for my thumbnail today, I'm not going to use a template. I'm going to go on and create my own YouTube thumbnail. So that means that I'm going to take that create a blank YouTube thumbnail and click on it so I can get a blank page. So just like you can see, I have a blank page here displayed. On the side, of course, there is a toolbar with everything. And what I work with first will be changing the color of that page to my preferred color or the color I want for my thumbnails. And on the side, we have, of course, a color panel where you can go on and adjust the color, the brightness or the opacity of that color. So after adjusting that, 
actually what i like doing most is putting on a second element or is on my template so i'll click on element and select from grids that template drag it to the size you want by just pulling one balls or one of the those signs that are on the edges so when that's done what i do next is to change the color of the second template and i'll give it a white color so all i'm trying to do is creating a border on my on my thumbnail so i'll go to my uploads and actually check out the photos i already uploaded if i don't have any you just go to upload an image or video and click on it so i'll choose one photo and I click on it and it will be there so just do the same drag the corners and pull to place it to the right position where you actually want it So what we're going to do next is we're going to put on a text by going on the left side and click text and put add a heading. So I'm dragging that so it's easy for me to delete that when I can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and type in whichever word I want to type in. So I'm going to drag the corner and also make it big. So you can either drag the corner or use the resize button on the top. So what we're going to do is again get a second heading and we type in our second word, which is going to be custom because we are creating actually a custom thumbnail. So you can go on that button to change the font to any font that you actually want your word to be in. You can play around with the font at least until you get one that looks nice for you. So I duplicated the custom word. But after the... Uh, you can also go on up there and resize. So I did a lot of duplicating, then I had to go back and delete the words. <laughs> so I actually went on and resized first. So you just want to make sure that the words are really big and very visible so your audience is can easily read them because most people use their laptop, their phones to watch our videos so i went back to the plus side in the left upper corner next to that um recycling bin and duplicated those words so change the color of the second word which is gonna be the second layer of the word so you can create that uh, 3d illusion of a word so that's what i'm trying to do and what i like most is also to put a template behind my word so it can be visible enough so go ahead and choose your template don't worry about covering you just drag it and put it to the size that you want it to be on so after that move it and take it to where the word is and of course just place it there so i'm gonna go on and change the color of the element i just added there so because we actually want it to be visible so it adds anything or something to our word So I'm just trying to make sure that the words are centered and uh, centered properly on the template, on the element, sorry. Centered properly on the element. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the color of the upper word or the top layer of the word because it's not clear to me. So uh, you just go on and do what you want with your words and create text. Do the same thing. Click on the heading, drop it, adjust it, then change its font. Like do your own desired thing. If you don't want to go into all that hassle, there are so many words below that 
there are so many words below that Canva offers you. Actually, you can also choose on those that are already designed with, with different fonts and just use those. So I went ahead and got my uh, Canva logo because actually I want to use, I'm going, I'm editing a video in Canva and I'm talking about making a thumbnail in Canva. So that's why I'm going to be using the original logo or the original icon of Canva on my thumbnail. So that's what I talked about. If you have any logos or icons you need, you can download them earlier. Probably you get lots of difficulties uh, downloading them within Canva itself, though you can also download lots of logos within Canva. So I'm just trying to move it around to see where it actually looks nice for me. So that's all I'm doing. And you just want to make sure that you make it nice and you the way you like it. So that's in my uploads. That means it's on my phone. So that, like I told you, you go on and download the things you may need to use. So I'm going to get a template. So I give that YouTube logo also a border. Because I'm just trying to make it look nice. Of course, you don't have to do all these things of elements and what. But you see, it looks better when it's in an element and it has borders on it. So all I'm doing is cropping myself. I'm trying to crop myself out. If you like knowing how to remove the background, of course, you want to check out my next video where I show you a short, quick tutorial on how to remove a background from your a background from your photo using Canva itself again. So I'm just going to go on again and crop myself because I feel like um, my thumbnail is too full. Actually, it's too busy. I want to reduce myself so it's a little more free and spacey. So just all of, that's all about it. Just do what pleases you, what you think people would like to see, all that would attract people. And yeah. So after doing that, I'm going to drag the corner and make myself big. So I'm just trying to, re to reposition my things like then I always also like to have this corner. I changed my thumbnails and I put a corner that always looked the same and carries my YouTube name on it. So that's why I'm putting that other template on the side on the corner. I'm going to give it a black color too. And afterwards, of course, I'll go in and click text because I want to put in my channel name. And just like you see my text is there. So I'm going to do the same thing like how I created the other texts. Delete the word that is there and type in my new word. So I'm basically doing the same process that I've been using to design the other words. That's why I'm not talking a lot because it's something I've already explained. So I'll go on and put on some plus sign because all my lo my thumbnails carry that corner in the black. They carry a plus sign um design to just give me like that, you know, that identification. Just like you can see it right now, that identification that I have that in my, the corner of my all my thumbnails. So when that is done, I'm gonna go on and click on the download button, and you wanna make sure, of course, um before you download your thumbnail that you're very com confident and you're very comfortable with the design you've created and that it's only one page and not two pages so before you download you want to make sure that it's a png and then you download take care of the size of course before you download and after downloading your design is going to be in place on your computer and you can just go there and view your design and see how it looks like actually if it's not satisfying you can just go directly back to canva and re-edit it or change something that didn't interest you 
guys a lot for watching i am a mimi show and we are still on mimi's pot so please let me know what you think about the thumbnail tutorial of course if you give me th feedback that's how i know if you like these videos or you don't like them if you like such tutorials let me know in the comment section below what you think about them if i should produce actually more for you guys i have a lot a lot a lot in stock coming in for you guys so hit the button so you can become part of the family you don't want to miss anything i promise you you don't want to miss anything and hit the bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video don't forget of course to give this video some thumbs up some thumbs up for this video yeah yeah yeah. you know we need to get some thumbs up some thumbs up because that's the only way i know that you guys liked the video and that gives me courage to create more and more so we'll see us in my next video and peace a sign out